السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم وبعد الحمد لله we learn the fast dua Ibrahim عليه السلام and Ismail عليه السلام made ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم after building the كعبة house of Allah سبحانه وتعالى this prophet ask Allah for acceptance that يا الله accept our work accept our our effort accept our service they become more humble instead of being proud subhanallah and after this dua prophet ibrahim السلام, and ismail السلام, made another dua which, which is also important to us they made dua to allah rabbana waj'alna muslimain lak ya allah o oh our lord waj'alna muslimain lak make us submissive to your will ya allah make us muslimain muslim what does it mean the scholars mention that there are two meanings of muslimain number one make us such a servant of allah that we make sure believe there's one god we do not associate anything with allah there's no partner he is alone he is only one one lord one allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and second one that we believe in one allah we practice whatever he commanded us means we are very obedient to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so prophets make dua to allah wabana waj'alna muslimain lak ya allah make us amongst those who are believing one allah and practicing your command subhanallah and then continue you ask Allah wa min dhurriyyatina ummatan muslimatan lak ya Allah raise from our offspring a community who obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our offspring that they are practice believing and practicing your command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanallah this is very important dua there are lesson that Ibrahim and Ismail alayhi salam they are not making dua only for for themselves for them but they are making dua for their offspring for their progeny that make sure uh, their children community children are pra believing and practicing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanallah there are lesson that when we as a ma mom and dad husband and wife especially are on the same page that we are believing and practicing deen and 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 we are trying our best to teach deen of allah to our children inshallah hopefully they will be on the right path as we recite ihdina siwat al mustaqim ya allah allow us to be on the right path but if a spouse husband and wife are not on the same page then it will be very difficult to raise our children with Iman and practical Muslim. It is possible. I'm not saying it is impossible. We, I am witness. I see, right? Husband and wife are now on the same page, but still after putting a lot of effort, sincerely, children are on the right path, but it is not easy. It is very difficult. That's why husband and wife need to be on the same page, which mean that we are practicing the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which does not mean that husband is focusing to celebrate Eid and his spouse and wife is not celebrating Hus one is focusing on celebrating Eid Ramadan and other is focusing to celebrate Christmas or 31st night or whatever so, but both husband and wife need to be on the same page to raise our children, such as children who is obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Prophet Ibrahim and Ismail alayhi salam made dua, Ya Allah, make us such a believer that we are believing and practicing, submiss submit, uh, submissive to, you, to your wills, and make our progeny, our children, that they are also Muslim. They are also practicing the of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Continue he asking dua to Allah. Wa arina manasikana. Ya Allah. Teach us manasikana. Teach us manasik. 
how to do hajj teach us how to worship to you ya allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanallah he is asking allah after building the kaaba he is being humble and asking allah for guidance asking allah to teach us how to do it how to do worship how to do hajj perform hajj subhanallah and then continue asking wa tub alayna ya allah allow us to do tawbah repent to you and accept our repentance ya allah innaka anta at-tawwabur rahim indeed you are the only one who accept our repentance and you are the only one who is the most merciful kind to us subhanallah so brothers and sisters this is very important dua that we can recite to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our guidance that make sure we are obedient to allah and same time it is very important to us to make dua that our children are on the right path with us our community is on the right path that we are practicing deen of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are not only believing but we are practicing sometimes some muslims we believe allah but we do not practice deen of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the night of 31st we celebrate and commit lot of sin our muslim children who believe in allah but they commit lot of sin many of them not everyone many of them do lot of sinful act they do they commit shameful act during the night of 31st because they are not practicing deen of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but we as a believer we need to try our best including ourselves that we can make we can pray two or four rakat nafal salah and be grateful and thankful to allah that in ter this past year that whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us subhanallah a lot of people they passed away they die but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us tawfiq to be alive still alhamdulillah we can pray few rakat salah and make dua and be grateful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask allah next year ya allah give us long life with good health and save us protect us protect our iman and health from all the virus and fitna and ask allah ya allah we want 2021 is such a year that which is best year for our life in our life which is best that we me we spouse and children community practicing deen of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are making tawbah repenting to you ya allah as we learn from this dua guidance for ourselves guidance for our children pozani community and repenting to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala returning to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seeking knowledge seeking forgiveness to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us tawfiq give us tawfiq to practice the deen of allah and frequently make this dua to allah rabbana waj'alna muslimain lak wa min dhurriyyatina ummatan muslimatan lak wa arina manasikana wa tub alayna innaka antat tawwabur rahim amin jazakumullahu khairan assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh